So, uh, here we are, still in Singapore, and I've had a few requests for anti-spin fountain. If you look at the pattern, you'll notice uh, it's the orange poi, the blue poi chasing the orange poi, and they both go front, front, behind, behind, front, front, behind, behind, front, front, behind, behind, front, front, behind, behind. That's looking at the downbeats, uh, and that will help you for some things in this. So to learn this, you can start on either side. If I start over here, I can put my left arm, the orange poi, is underneath the right. When I cross sides, I'm going to let the orange poi, the underneath left poi, lead. I'm going to go down, down, and on the other side. Now my left poi, the orange one, is on top. I can bring it up here a bit, and they're behind, behind, front, front, behind, behind, front, front of me. Behind, behind, front, front, behind, behind. And you'll find your other hand, now it's my right blue poi, is on top. Still, it's chasing the orange poi. It goes past the bottom again, the orange poi goes front, front, and to go behind, it has to be the left on top. Front, front, behind, behind, my, my right hand, blue, is on top. Front, front, behind, behind, left is on top. So that's the basic pattern, and if you play with this, you'll get that. So you can focus on either the insides or the outsides of, say, the top and bottom, and that'll help you bring the whole pattern into focus to make it look really nice. So the question then is which you focus on, and let's, just for the example, focus on the insides, which are like the windshield wipers. We can think of the points, or we can think of the windshield wipers. So if we look at this, as I go over the top, it's my left windshield wipers, so the orange windshield wipers, and at the bottom, blue windshield wipers. So that just means I'm focusing at the, the top, when my hands go over the top, I'm focusing my orange poise to pull straight across my body, and I want to really pass this perfect point where this is right on my center line. And at the bottom, when my hands pull across my body together, my blue poi is trying to make a perfect windshield wiper, so it, if you were to freeze time, could stop right here and continue. Because it's, it's impossible to focus on all the out points and all the in points in a, a complex pattern like this. But if you just pick two, and I think blue poi, orange poi, blue poi, orange poi, blue across, orange across, blue across, orange across, blue across, orange across, and try to do it with the rhythm of the music and keep everything smooth, that will slowly help me bring the whole thing into beautiful focus instead of looking, you know, having the right pattern but having it all lumpy where there's three pedals here together and then a big space and two more pedals in the space. And you can do that with almost any pattern focusing on either the points or the insides. Other ways to beautify this, a good one, in the beginning you might be bending your elbows a lot just as you find the pattern. And you might, for one thing, say, bring them really close and almost do body tracing. Up one side, down the other side. Trace your own silhouette with your hands as you do the pattern. Another thing which will make more of a flower shape is to keep your arms extended and your hands as close together as possible and your planes as tight as possible. This will give you a ten-pointed flower because one arm is making an upward pointed five point flower, the other is making a downward pointed five point flower, and together you make a beautiful ten point flower. So you might even get to the point of where you can kind of keep your hands touching almost the entire time. That's not easy, but it's uh, possible. If you can do that and start getting your rhythm strong, you'll have a really beautiful pattern circling around you in anti spin. That hopefully will give you something to work with. I hope that made sense. And we'll adventure off into Singapore. By the way, we've been filming by the Singapore River. This, uh, this is the, the one real river that runs through Singapore, which is an island uh, nation. And 
In the early 80s, this river was so full of garbage and sludge and trash that there was no living fish in it. And that led to the Great Singapore River cleanup, when thousands of people participated in bringing hundreds of tons of trash out of the river until they could release fish into it and the whole thing could become a living river again. And in the inauguration, they released a million fish and all these people swam. And it was, it's one of the world's great environmental cleanups. Unfortunately, that's beginning to turn around and because of all the heavy construction, it's getting polluted again. But I would like to share that with you as a story of how we can, if we decide to, clean up the trash we've made. So here in Singapore, they did it. And now maybe they're undoing it or maybe they'll do it again. So just something to think about when next time you see a river. All right.